Today I'm going to be doing a my first video in a series of breeding for Barami. Um, we currently, um, in a 20 gallon log, have four females and one male. Um, we have to order in, you have to order in, special order the, uh, the females in because uh, all the ones that the stores get in are generally going to be males. I'm going to um, pick my best female. We're going to take the other three away and put her in another grow up, put them in another grow up tank. And we're gonna uh, put the mail over and um, basically just see what happens, and then we'll come back here with another update video. So, uh, without further ado, let's get started. Generally, you wanna go for the, um, the female that has the most vertical uh, stripes. The more tilted they are, technically, the less quality they are. Um, but it doesn't look like I have a huge variety. I think I'll pull this one. Alright, let me uh, of course get some water in here first. being stubborn and just sitting under the sponge filter. Okay, so we've moved the three females in the container. We're going to put them in another tank here in a minute. And now we've moved the male over. Um, it was a little bit of a uh, trouble um, catching him, so he immediately <laughs> swam under the sponge filter. Um, but basically, we're just going to let these guys go and try to get them to breed. Um, we'll, of course, make a video on the next time. There's some more information on what we uh, want to fill you guys in with. Um, one thing we will be doing so we'll be adding a catapa leaf, um, and these are antifungal, and it's a great, um, great resource for the gourami um, to uh, make a bubble nest on. So I'm just going to add this uh, leaf. You don't have to use this. The duckweed's pretty good for that, um, but we're just going to add this here to the top, maybe over here to the side where it's a little bit less light, you feel a little bit less stressed. Um, so yeah, let's go move these three females over and we'll be done. Right. One more thing I'll do um, is I'm gonna move our little DIY diffuser under the light um, just to help them be a little bit less stressed. Um, I like to do this with all my breeding projects. Fish don't have like super high light in the wild. Um, so generally a little bit of a lower light is gonna make them more calm and uh, more set to breed. Okay. 